Hello, this is Knowledge Graphs week number three, querying Knowledge Graphs with Sparkle. My name is Tabea Tietz and today I will go with you through the third hands-on of the week, which is about Sparkle Query Federation. And in this hands-on we will um, yeah, take a look at federated Sparkle queries and we will go away from only querying Wikidata or only querying um, DBpedia, and we will take a look at two other knowledge graphs that are interesting to query. One is linked stage graph and the other one is of the German National Library and we'll co come to this in a second. Just as a reminder, Sparkle can be used to execute queries distributed over different Sparkle endpoints and you learned about this already in the lecture. Here's also for you the W3C recommendations if you want to read about this a bit further. But for now let's start. At first, as always, we have to install a few things and yeah, determine a few packages. And um, this is as usual as you have already seen in the first two hands-on, we need Sparkle wrapper and also we need uh, a package for running Sparkle queries on Wikidata. And we also need pandas here to um, display the results. So let's start. At first we want to query linked stage graph and Wikidata. Um, yeah, and as you already know, besides DVpedia and Wikidata, there are many interesting and domain-specific knowledge graphs out there to explore. And in this example, we want to talk about linked stage graph. Linked stage graph, linked stage graph is um, yeah a smaller uh, knowledge graph than than something like Wikidata, for example, and it contains black and white photographs and metadata about the Stuttgart State Theaters from the 1890s to the 1940s. And the graph contains around 7,000 photographs um, and this is mostly about performance data. So this is photographs about performances like theater plays and operas and ballet performances and so on. But we have also photos of offstage moments and theater buildings and so on. So let's see what we can query here. At first we determine our Sparkle endpoint, which is here located at Fitzkarlsruhe. I will start this as well. And then let's go to our query. At first we want in linked stage graph to select all resources which list a contributor. Resources could be, for example, a performance, a theater performance, a play or a ballet. And for these we want to use, yeah, we want to list a contributor, that means, for example, someone who wrote the play. And for this contributor, which is a person, we want to retrieve their birth year and birthplace from Wikidata. And as you know, we have to use this, uh, do this as a federated query because we want to connect both endpoints here. And here you can see also which Wikidata properties we need. Um, they're also linked for you here. And let's run, start running the query already because it um, takes a bit longer. In the beginning we have, as usual, our prefixes. We use DC terms, schema, and then the linked stage graph namespace here, and then also Wikidata. In our um, linked stage graph query. We want to have all the resources. We want to have a resource label. We want to have a contributor. We want to have a contributor label, a birth year, and also a birthplace. And then we do this in the query here. We have uh, some resource, a contributor with a variable contributor, and for the same resource also a label. And then in order to also connect to the Wikidata Sparky endpoint, we have to use the service keyword. And we have to uh, yeah, determine the endpoint for um, Wikidata. And then here we also have the very same contributor that we used in the, in the linked stage graph query before. And we ask for the birth date and for the comp contributor also for the birthplace. We have also a label here and we want to receive this, we want to filter the results for English labels. Right, and then we also bind the year, um, the birth date 
as the birth year. This is enough information for us. We want to also order the results in descending order by birth year. And our query was already successful. In the meantime, we see here all of the results in English um, and as a JSON. But um, as we already have seen before, we can't really read this very well. So we scroll a bit down and we use pandas here to uh, show the results in, uh, yeah, in a nicer looking table. So in the beginning, we have a resource and the resource value, which is yeah, the, um, the URI from linked stage graph, from the linked stage graph Sparky endpoint. And then here, for example, we have the play itself or the resource and the performance. For example, we have Hamlet here by Shakespeare, and this is already a contributor. So for Hamlet, the contributor listed is um, William Shakespeare. And then from Wikidata, we retrieved the birth year. So this is an information that is not in the linked stage graph endpoint, but luckily we could use the information here from Wikidata. And in this case, it's 1564. And last but not least, we also have this um, ID of William Shakespeare here. And uh, yeah, we can see that this is also taken from Wikidata. So this was our first query, and we invite you to also sparkle the um, yeah, query, the endpoint of linked stage graph, and also see what interesting performances there are and what interesting data there is to find out. Right, let's go to another sparkle endpoint. And here I want to show you the GND, which is also called the Integrated Authority File, or in English or in German, Gemeinsame Normdatei. And this is a service facilitating the collaborative use and administration of authority data. And yeah, here um, authority data represent and describe entities, um, yeah, for instance, persons, that's also corporate bodies, conferences, events, also geographic uh, entities, topics and works, but also, yeah, they relate somehow to the cultural and academic collections. And also there's a link here if you want to explore this further. And as we have done in the um, query before, we first determine our Sparky endpoint, which is the D GND Sparky endpoint. And then we go to our query. So from GND, we want to select all differentiated persons who are female, and we also want to get their GND identifier. And then we go to Wikidata, and for exactly these persons, for these differentiated persons, we want to um, yeah, select the movement they belong to. For example, a literary movement is here possible. And uh, again, I listed the Wikidata properties you need for this query, and we start to run it already. The prefixes here we need are, as, user, as usual, we need Wikidata, but then we also need um, the, uh, yeah, the namespace for GND. And when we look at our query, we want to select the GND resource, the wiki resource, also a label for this. Um, then we have here the movement and the movement label. At first, our query, um, yeah, in our query, we we ask for the GND resource from GND, and this should be a differentiated person. So it's differentiated person here is a class. And then the, this GND resource, so this differentiated person, should be female. And then we also want to get the ID. In, uh, then we use again the service keyword to query Wikidata. We have the Wikidata endpoint here, and then for this resource, we want to have um, also the movement here, and we want to filter our results for English language results. And we have to wait just um, a second for this query to finish. Uh, yeah, we also limit the results here to the first 50. And what else can I say about this? Um, 
yeah, I think it is quite self-explanatory. But of, as, as always, you can ask in the forum if you need anything else. And ah, so this query should be finished in a second. All right, so our query um, was successful, and now we want to look at the results. Right, and in this table we see here in the beginning the um, the G G and D IDs and the URIs, and here we see the differentiated persons, which are all female, and then the movement they belong to. For example, we have here um, someone like Gertrude Stein, who belonged to modernists, modernism and moder modernist literature. Um, we have Jane Austen, who belongs to the movement of literary realism, and so on. So uh, GND also has really interesting data to explore, and I invite you to do your own fa federated Sparky queries and explore different Sparky endpoints also beyond Wikidata and DBpedia. <laughs>